Hey friends, what is up today? I hope you're having a great day. Today's video is basically, it's gonna be kind of random, henceforth. The title, Random Things to Do When You're Bored in the Summertime. So basically today I'm going to be showing you guys some fun, random things to do during these hot summer days when you don't necessarily want to be running around splashing in the pool outside or working or have some free time on your hands. So you guys can go do these things if you want to. I don't know, they're just suggestions and you probably won't actually do them because I know when I watch these videos, I'm like, that looks like a really good idea, but then I don't actually do it. So here's some ideas for you to do when you're bored that you can think about doing, but probably won't actually do. So let's get on with the video. So the first thing to do when you're bored in the summertime, well, there's a lot of things to do, but you know, things that involve food are always way, way better. So why not make some popsicles? But these popsicles have a twist because they're more unhealthy, more healthy, unhealthier than normal popsicles because they feature something I like to call gummy bears plus orange juice from Whole Foods. So let's get started. Obviously you're gonna need orange juice or soda and gummy bears or gummy worms or whatever you want to put in the popsicles. Who knows? Y'all gonna need some of these popsicle, popsicle molds. Popsicle molds. You're gonna need some of those. I got these in the 99 cent section at Ikea. You can get these pretty much anywhere, so go check your local stores. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this thing out, and then you have this open, right? Put that in there. You're gonna open the gummy bears and eat some of them. You're also gonna take a handful and plop them in the popsicle thing. I don't even know if you can see that. And then, I'm gonna take the orange juice and pour it into the pops, uh-oh. Pour it in the popsicle thing. But don't fill it up all the way, because then you want to have room to put this thingy in so you don't overflow it. So then you put it in and boop, your first one is done. Then you do the exact same thing for the second one. Then you're gonna stick the popsicles in the freezer and let them freeze overnight so they become popsicles instead of just liquid with candy in them. 24 hours later. And then just pull the popsicles out of the refrigerator. Take the one out. Boom. You got your popsicle. See, the next thing that you can do when you are bored and have nothing better to do is grab a friend, grab two friends. That's like as many friends as I have, but just grab your friends and play Uno and leave everybody shook and ruin friendships. Red, red, skip you, reverse back to me, draw four yellow, draw two, skip you, skip you, Eight, uno, eight, I'm out. Woo! Obviously, the next thing that you're gonna do when you're bored is play Mario Kart. If you don't have Mario Kart, then watch videos of people playing Mario Kart. The strategy in this is just to hit everyone off the edge without hitting yourself off the edge. You know, that's your whole goal, is to hit everyone but not be hit. Kind of like in life. I win, <laughs> woo! But 
in all reality, go play Mario Kart because this is something to do when you're bored and you can play it for hours and beat all of the levels, which like no one actually does, so go play it and go beat all the levels and go beat everyone and get your new high score. Okay friends, the next thing is a smoothie because smoothies are healthier than milkshake. To make your smoothie, you're going to need a blender. Then you're going to open the blender, put a banana in it, and I'm going to put some frozen mangoes in it because yellow fruit is better fruit. Then we're going to put some yogurt in it. Some nice plain low fat yogurt. And then we're gonna put some milk in it. Put the lid on top here. Take the glass and pour it into the glass. And congratulations, you have made your smoothie. So once again, you're thinking to yourself, huh, I'm bored again, what should I do? Well, here's the answer. You can make a shirt the shirts are fun and it'll save you money by making your own instead of buying it at the store which might be easier but this is more fun and kills more time Woo! so what you're gonna need is a white t-shirt then you're gonna need some fabric paint in black and green and you're gonna make cactuses on the shirt so what you're going to do now is you're basically going to draw jars on here, or at least attempt to. So now i finished with the jars. They don't look terrible, which is good. But now you gotta add your plants in the jars. Guess what? You have finished your lovely cactus shirt. So what else can you do when you're bored? Oh, how about maybe getting ahead of the game and starting your summer reading if you're in school and you have to do summer reading. But if you're not in school, maybe read that book that your neighbor lent you that you said you would like return three weeks ago, but you still haven't opened it. So maybe get started on some reading. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. No, but I actually already had to read this book for school, and when I did, I actually fell asleep with the book on my face. And how about the next thing to do? Bring back some childhood memories and color. This beautiful coloring page, which I found on the internet, and it is a chili pepper and a taco. So, why not color this? Okay, and the final thing to do when you're bored is, and this will definitely kill the most time, is to watch terrible movies but that are like so terrible that they're actually hilarious. Some of my suggestions are The Attack of the Killer Donuts or something like that. Just searching Killer Donuts and it is a great movie. You can tell that they're actually throwing like real donuts at the actors. Another terrible movie that used to be on Netflix and I'm not sure if it still is is The Starving Games which is a spoof on The Hunger Games and it is hilarious. You need to go watch it immediately. And some other options are you know those weird sci-fi movies where like hybrid animals attack like Sharknado, Piranha, Anaconda, Sharktopus, Shark versus Octopus, you know, any of those would also work. And they're probably like two hours long, so 
Go watch those. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was totally random. Maybe you want to do these things, maybe not. But if you do, let me know which one you would most like to do in the comments or which one you would least like to do in the comments because everyone has least favorites. No one ever talks about least favorites, but anyways, go leave a comment, go like, do what you need to do, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.